I haven't done a video for a while because I've been busy doing some work on the house, redoing a bit of roof and insulating. Um, but then something cropped up on English Longbow Archers Facebook group. Someone who's new to bow making posted a picture of a laminate bow he tried to make and it had exploded. Well, the grain was going across the back at about 45 degrees. And people said, well, that's what your problem was. And I said, the back needs to be really clean because that's where all the stress is. You can get away with, you know, problems on the belly. You can get away with all sorts of stuff. And some bloke said, I don't believe that. So I posted a couple of links to bows I've made with big knots on the belly and that lever bow where the belly cracked right through and I re-glued it and it still worked. But he still wouldn't believe it. Then I pointed out you can make a hinged bow. You know, with a strap hinge on the back so it will fold up as a carriage bow. And then I thought, well, I know, I'll do a little experiment. I do like my experiment, so I cut two bits of pine, off cut some of the work I've been doing, from the same bit of wood. And I thought, if I saw halfway through, well about a third of the way through, and on one bit I'll make that saw cut on the belly. There's also like a bonus bit of a knot showing there. And we'll see what it takes to break that. And then compare it with a very, very similar bit of wood with the saw cut through the back. Let's see. Stick a handy string on it. Reset the scale and pull it till it breaks. broke at about 45 pounds which isn't bad going so that's with the belly sawn through pounds. I think that's a convincing demonstration. 